Hello, everybody. My name is Raymond Lim, and I'm the owner of Sake Labo. Hi, everybody. I'm Chef Derek, the executive chef for Sake Labo. Why we joined Epicurean Star Award is because we want to gain recognition in the FMB sectors and also the experience for our staff in Sake Labo. Getting this award is a huge testimony to the hard work that everyone in the team has put in from the managers and the service team down to the kitchen. So it's a huge morale booster for my team and we are all very privileged to receive this award. Getting this award for the first time, it was a big surprise. We were up against very worthy competitors. So to be able to get this award is a sign of support that our customers have given to us. So Sake Labo is not just a traditional sake bar. When I created this concept, I wanted something with a twist. So the cuisine that we are doing here is actually a japas, which is a short form for Japanese tapas paired with sakes. I always felt that Spanish tapas is a very good match for sakes because of the intensity of the flavors paired with the cleanliness of the sake flavors. But because we are doing a sake bar, so we thought we'll do tapas with Japanese inflected flavors to bring a little bit of Japanese element into the food. The second USP is the design of the place. We like to create something that's unique, something that's beautiful. So the inspiration of the design is actually from the Japanese Showa period. So everything you see around is actually 1920s Japan, but we sort of give it a little bit of a modern take to it. Last but not least is of course the showcase, which is the sakes. We pride ourselves with having the most biggest selection of sakes in Singapore. And we also have a sake sommelier on hand to recommend sakes to customers who may not be very well versed about reading the sake label on the bottles. Our signature dishes will be OFC, our fried chicken, unagi sushi. Normally you go to restaurants, the unagi rice is cooked rice, but this is we dehydrated the rice and uh, we place the unagi on top with a slice of uh, halom tomato. And our third item, we kombu udon. We are using inaniwa udon, the thin udon, and we toss with truffle, egg yolk, and to make it more fragrant and tasty. Our next dish will be the tuna conetto, and we have this tuna, we marinate with lemon juice, lime jazz, and we scoop it onto the cone itself. The cone itself is actually the seaweed cone, and it's the flavor, the taste actually combined together is very refreshing to our customer. The last two years in Singapore has obviously been very challenging for the F&B sector. We see a lot of restaurants closing, but at the same time, we also see new entrants coming into the business. So it's a constant challenge to try to remain relevant to the customers. And um, I think at the end of the day, competition is good for everybody. It keeps everybody on toes. Uh, just around us can easily count another three sake bars, but it's good. It means that generally there are more interest in the subject of sake. So, may the best man win, I guess. We will join the Epicurean Star Awards for 2022 because we want to show people that we are able to win the second year consecutively.